Field level action is what is needed to help protect Kenya's wildlife and safeguard balanced ecosystems before they're lost forever. This approach is as true today as it was 70 years ago when my late father, David Sheldrick, was set the challenging task of creating Kenya's Savo National Park out of an inhospitable wilderness. Savo remains the focus for the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust's efforts, working in close partnership with the Kenya Wildlife Service. The Orphans Project has been at the heart of our conservation efforts for more than four decades. Milk-dependent elephants, rhinos, giraffes, and all manner of species can find safe haven in our care. These orphans tend to be victims of the ivory or bush meat trade, and more recently, human-wildlife conflict, drought, and habitat fragmentation. The orphans we rescue come into our care having experienced extreme trauma, making them both physically and psychologically fragile. We afford these unfortunate victims the sense of family once more, with the love, support, and specialist care that they need to survive so that when they're old enough that they can circle back to their birthright. A life in the wild once more, a process that can take 10 years as they graduate from the nursery to our rehabilitation units in Salvo. It's important to take care of the challenges they and their wild peers will face living a wild life. And the Trust operates anti-poaching teams and a canine unit who help combat illegal activities, all the while ably supported by our air wing. These eyes in the sky monitor wildlife populations while identifying and responding to signs of illegal activity so that the rangers on the ground can be strategically and effectively deployed. Poaching and human wildlife conflict remain tangible threats to wildlife. And where animals are injured, the Sheldrick Trust, KWS, Mobile Veterinary Units and SkyVet are able to respond countrywide, alleviating suffering and treating animals targeted by poison arrows, snares, traps and even gunshots. Mankind's footprint continues to grow, shrinking the important spaces needed for all wildlife, but particularly the elephants' migratory corridors. Roads, railways, homes and agriculture are increasing pressure on these vital habitats, with the impact of climate change becoming evident too. We look to secure key wilderness areas and wildlife corridors along with protecting forests so essential in tackling the effects of climate change. While our water projects ensure animals have access to this vital resource, even during the harshest of times. We fund electric fence lines to protect heavily populated boundaries. And the most important custodians of wildlife are of course those living alongside it. So community engagement is paramount to successful conservation. What my mother, Daphne Sheldrick, began more than 40 years ago when the trust was first created, has grown into what it is today. An organization blessed with exceptional people working tirelessly, saving wild lives and wild places. And around the world, a global movement has grown supporting these efforts, providing such hope for the future of wildlife and Kenya's natural spaces. Together, we can continue to make a lasting difference by delivering tried and tested solutions that protect our precious natural world for generations to come.